Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to uh, solve this question. So basically we are provided with a rec uh, regular hexagonal lamina. Now the edge of this lamina is 20 mm. That means the side of hexagon is 20, uh, 20 millimeters. Now this is inclined to HP at 45 degree and perpendicular to the vertical plane. Okay, so this type of questions they are drawn in two stages. So in first one we will assume that uh, the lamina is perpendicular to VP but parallel to HP or uh, basically inclination from horizontal plane is 0 degree. Okay, so we are going to draw the first stage then we will incline one view by 45 degree. Now we need to draw the projection if uh, this is resting on one of its edges on HP. So basically one side of this hexagon is on HP. Okay, or it simply means that uh, the front view it will be touching XY line. Okay, and if we are assuming that the uh, lamina is parallel to HP and one side is resting on HP, so it simply means that hexagon is on HP itself. Okay, now the next thing is that two of its edges are perpendicular to the vertical plane. That is another information that is given, and the corner nearest to VP is 15 mm away from it. So it simply means that uh, the uh, I would say that top view it will start from a distance of 15 mm at least from the uh, uh, I would say that horizontal plane uh, sorry vertical plane. Now without further delay let's start. So for XY line I am going to use uh, the command X lines and I am going to start it from 0, 0, enter and then I am going to keep the angle as 0 degree. Now this is our XY line that we have created. Now after that the next thing that I am going to do is uh, basically we are going to assume that this particular plane is uh, parallel to HP or its view, its front view will be a line itself. Okay. So uh, for that basically we don't know the length of this front view. So uh, what I am going to do is I am going to draw uh, a line simply for a reference like this press enter now we don't know the uh, length of the front view so what we are going to do is we are going to create the uh, top view first so what will be the top view top view will be a hexagon regular hexagon and its corner will be 15 mm away from it now for that i'm going to use uh, the command polygon command and then we are going to start with the drawing now let's select polygon from here click on polygon start it now what are the number of sides so number of sides are 6 press enter now after that the next thing that we are going to need is we need to specify either center or edge so we don't have the information about center so we are going to select edge after selecting edge the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, specify the first end point now we don't know the first endpoint right now, so I'm going to take any reference, any one. Now after uh, taking any point from here, the next thing is we need to specify the other endpoint. Now what is the length? Length of this edge is 20 mm. Okay. So what we can uh, what we can do is we can uh, simply press at the rate 20 and select side as angle as zero degree. So this is the hexagon that we are going to create, but Take a look. The information that we are provided with. Let's uh, move this a little bit nearer. Now, what is the information? Information is that its uh, nearest corner is 15 mm away. So that is one thing that we can deal. Now, the next thing is the hexagonal lamina is resting on uh, one of its edges on HP such that two of its edges are perpendicular to VP. So two sides should be perpendicular to the vertical plane. So basically we will have to rotate this hexagon. So click on rotate. Now select any point and we can basically take it like this. Okay. So this is the orientation of this hexagon. Now what next? Basically we need, uh, we need that this particular hexagon, uh, this corner of hexagon, it should be 15 mm away from this XY line. Okay, so in order to make it 15, I'm going to draw a line, start from this any point and draw a line of 15 
length and press enter. Now we will move this hexagon. So select move, specify this point as the base point and place it here. Okay, then we can delete this particular line. Now in order to draw the front view, we will have to select a ray command in order to draw projections. Now we are going to draw projections in both sides. Okay, so that we don't need to worry about projections later on. Now select this point like this. Okay, repeat the same command. Start it from here and draw it like this. Press enter. Now repeat ray. Now these rays that we are drawing they are very useful now we are drawn uh, we are done with two of them now let's draw next and this now this line this we don't need because we already have a ray again but we will need another ray starting from this point and like this okay so this should be the length of uh, the front view okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use trim command and we will be removing the remaining uh, portion of these rays, these lines. So enter, select them, delete. Now, starting from this point to this point, this is the length of front view. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a front view. So this time, we don't need to worry about the distance of this front view. Okay, so main projection, basically I'm going to increase the width of these main projections and increase the line weight and click on display line weight if it is not selected let's select any line weight and click ok now this is the projection of hexagon okay now in order to uh, in order to make these things more understandable i'm going to uh, change the color of these projection lines instead of by layer select these colors so that they are identifiable that these lines are our projection lines now let's move to the next information that we have basically this is inclined at inclined to hp at 45 degree and one edge is resting on hp so basically we need to rotate this particular line okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular projection this one press enter specify a base point okay so this should be our base point and Place this particular line anywhere like this, press enter. Now this one, it should be rotated by what angle? At 45 degrees. So basically this is the base point and specify the rotation angle as 45 degree, press enter. Okay. Now what are the information that we need? We need another projection line. So start from ray, press enter and then start a ray like this. Now it's uh, thickness. It should be 0 okay so we are going to change that don't worry ray selected okay select ray select this thickness start a ray specify this point as the first one then repeat the same command this is the another now basically these are the boundaries of uh, the top view that we are going to select now another one will start from the center because because of this particular position so basically we have got these uh, boundaries for the projection lines okay so let's change their color now these are the points that we have for uh, the projection now, before moving further, let's uh, provide names, multi-line text, okay, and specify these points. Now, this one is, which view is this? This is the top view. So, basically, the annotation, they will be simply text only, okay. So, select this, make it 3, okay, and just place it here, copy it, and paste these texts now we are going to change them later on don't worry now so select this point as a 
take this one and write it as v this one as c this one as d this should be e and this point it should be f now these are the nomenclature for top view now for front view what we are going to do basically in front view we should have a dash and this particular point it represents two different points okay so this one it should represent point a so a dash and then point b so b dash so click okay and copy this one paste it here now this point it should be c and f or f and c whatever you want to write f dash and c dash after that the last point this one it should be e and d so we are going to write it as e dash and d dash e dash and d dash now these are the basically this is the drawing of first i would say that uh, step uh, step first step now in the next stage what we are going to do is basically this point is a so here it should be a again okay then it should be f e now to differentiate i'm going to use one in subscript okay so i'm going to just specify these text place it here now edit it and we need to write a1 and this one it should go to subscript okay so you can uh, do this uh, this is for cases now this is for subscript now this one is a1 copy it now this point it should be b1 then next point this one should be c1 after that next point this one should be d1 just double click on the text and uh, you will see that we can do whatever we want d1 after that this point it should be e1 e1 after that this point it should be f1 so this is how we can write the name now to draw the projection we are going to select line and select the line weight whatever we want and start it from here basically it should be drawn like this in other cases what we can do is we can we may need to measure some lines okay so that's also the case now this is how these projections will be so basically we will have to copy these points as well place them and what we are going to do is we are going to change their name now a1 dash so make it write it in subscript then b1 dash after that f1 dash then c1 dash then the next thing is our point e1 dash d1 dash okay so this is how we can edit these things after that we can rotate it now specify a base point and specify the rotation angle as 45 degree and press enter now take a look these points they are rotated now we can move them and specify a base point of movement as this one and place them here so this is the solution of our uh, question now we are going to trim the non required portion so you can trim these lines you can trim these lines as well and this one as well so this is the solution to this this question so uh, that's all for this thank you very much and have a nice day i hope you guys have learned something new